Christmas Compassion got started uh, with a young youth who had a, a dream and a vision and a, and a desire to want to help less fortunate kids. And that was Chelsea Bloodworth, who was my daughter, 19, 20. She wanted to make a difference and she saw the need. And she came to us, her mom and dad, and said, what can I do? And I said, well, you need money <laughs> and lots of money. <laughs> and uh, she said, well, okay. I said, you're gonna have to raise money. You're gonna have to, we have to have a plan. And she did. And actually it was her faith and her belief and determination that caused it to just grow and grow and grow. Um, she said, I wanna take the money that you are going to spend on my Christmas this year and start with that and see what we can do. And it took off. It blew my mind, it really did. The story that impacted me the most with Christmas Compassion was the very first season where we reached out to a family. It was one child in particular. He had siblings, but he was the youngest. And actually, that family just came in on the tail end and we were scrambling to, to, to make sure he had a Christmas uh, that season. And when we got there, his eyes were so big and excited because, you know, there was nothing under the tree. And when he saw these gifts coming in and they had his name, he knew that. And um, over the years, I've watched this one small child grow and grow and serve God and keep such an humble spirit. And now here he is, a young person, a youth. I guess he's about 17 years old now, maybe 15, 17. But to see that, and he comes up to me to this day and he'll give me a hug, calls me by name, and I know he remembers the love of God that was, that was shown to him that day, that year. And that made a difference. That impacted me. Uh, Chelsea got married and moved to Dallas, and I prayed and asked God, I don't have time for this, Lord. This was her dream. This was her vision. When you look in the eyes of the children and you look back over the pictures and, and the results and you see, you just can't let it go. You can't. The main thing from holding me back from doing more for Christmas Compassion is the funds. Uh, we'd like to help more, but we're limited. Others have to have the vision. It's got a positive impact in the hearts and lives and souls of not only kids, adults. Christmas Compassion, let's keep it going.